The 70s were very different. When, in the 70s, there was a child molester that lived in my hometown. And it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't like, we caught a child molester. It was just like, yeah, that's the house where the child molester lives. He lives where, hey kids, be, don't be stupid or you'll get molested. Just stay away from the child molester house. I know, because he did something to me when I was your age. So just stay away from the child molester house. We, really did. we had a town child molester. His name was Jean Baptiste. It's a true story. <laughs> He liked teenage boys. That's when you would find out, because I was a teenage boy. He didn't like me. I, was, I felt a little bad. <laughs> I, like, no, not you. He, was, he didn't, it wasn't into me. But he would drive up next to teenage boys, and he'd say, uh, hello, would you like to go to McDonald's? And you're like, no. And he's like, why you don't like McDonald's? And then you're trapped, because of course everybody liked McDonald's. It was the 70s. <laughs> And then I had one friend who used to get in the car. He'd be like, sure, I'll go. And he'd get in the car. He'd go to McDonald's and eat a burger. And then he'd say, see ya. And he'd just take off. And Jean Baptiste was like, duh, I did not get to sex with that child. And he'd foiled again. But he'd always try. Maybe this time. <laughs> because child molesters are very tenacious people. They love molesting childs. It's crazy. It's like their favorite thing. I mean, when you can, it's so crazy because when you consider the risk in being a child molester, speaking not of even the damage you're doing, but the risk, there's no worse life available to a human than being a caught child molester. And yet they still do it, which from you can only really surmise that it must be really good. I mean, from their point of view, from their, not ours, but from their point of view, it must be amazing for them to risk so much. Be How do you think I feel? It's my last show, probably. Because... Look, I can't key into it because I love Mounds Bars. I love Mounds Bars. It's my favorite thing, right? But there's a limit. I mean, I, I can't even eat a Mounds Bar and do something else at the same time. That's how much I love them. Like, if I'm eating a Mounds Bar, I can't read the paper. Like, hmm. Mm. I have to just sit there with it in my mouth and go, why is this so good? I love this so much. But, and because they are delicious. And yet, if somebody said to me, if you eat another Mounds Bar, you'll go to jail and everybody will hate you, I would stop eating them because they do taste delicious, but they don't taste as good as a young boy does and shouldn't <laughs> to a child molester, not to me, not to us, because we're all awesome. 